All right, it's uh, Saturday. Today is the 10th. Yesterday's video, I said the wrong date. So um, <clears throat> I'm gonna run to the bait shop. I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get some spikes. They're just like waxies, but they're a little smaller. And uh, I like using spikes. They stay on better. I'm gonna grab some spikes, grab a couple crappie minnows, and um, a couple suckers in case you know I got the camera down there and a pike swims through. I can drop the camera down really quick. That's gonna be fun. So stay tuned. All right, got. Uh, Got bait, they didn't have spikes or waxies. Um, so I got some crappie minnows and some shiners. And I'm gonna pull the shack out to the furthest hole. And uh, just set up and fish there. I don't wanna go any further. So that's all. That I'd feel comfortable hauling my gear out to. So we'll go out, we'll put the camera up and uh, We'll see if any fish swim through or this or that. All right, got one for the camera and one for the jigging. All right, just got out to a different spot here. Um, had the camera down, didn't see much, but I'm gonna fish this spot with the shiners and with jig. See if I can't pull something through. There's a lot more ice out here than there is on the first place I was at in town. Which is weird because this is like a thousand acre lake and in town it's like just small. I'm crazy. Some big bluegills down here. There we go. Nice. Nice fish right there. There we go. Oh, that's a tank. That's a slab. <laughs> Look at that one. That's a nice fish. There we go. God, that's a freaking slab, bluegill. Nice one. Yeah. yeah, I'd keep that one, but I'm not keeping them today. That's a big gill. Unless I catch one that's like huge, then I might keep that. I'm gonna bring the camera down a little bit. Mm, right out of his mouth. Big bluegill here. Oh, that's a slab. What's he want? What's he want? He wants it moving. Gotta let him suck it in that extra second there. There we go. He's gonna hit it harder this time. I need to give him more line. Come on. Hit it hard. Come on. That's a slab gill right there. Can he change his mind? Come on. Look at the thing on that one. That's a huge gill. Turn that one there. One thing I do is jig up and then slowly let it back down. And usually these fish will come in a little harder um, on that drop down, but 
Sometimes I don't. It's just something that I try to do. I jig it up really high and drop it down nice and slow like so. And usually then bluegill and crappie usually like that. Here comes a gill. Nice one there. Let's slow it down for him. That's a nice gill. Ooh. He didn't quite have it all the way there. Dang. There we go. Oh my god. Huge bass. Holy crap, look at that. It's a five pound bass, easily. There's a nice one. Came out of nowhere. Decent little fish there. Nice gill there. Pike looking at the camera. Huge pike. Holy balls. I don't know if I'm gonna put a whole day of ice fishing together, but um, as far as <clears throat> what we saw today, the bluegill, the bass, <clears throat> the big pike, um, I'm gonna wrap it up here and I'm gonna go to one more spot. I don't know if it's gonna be ready or not, but I'm gonna definitely go there, check it. If it's ready, I'm going to fish it, and I'll fish it all night, and a video will be coming up, you know, late, late, late night, but obviously, I can't just tell you this, you'll see this when it's late. Um, otherwise, I'm going to post one video, and of what we just did, tip-ups, still out, nothing on the tip-up, um, what we just did, one video, and then I'll make another video of the night, so, until then, I'm going to the other lake, so, we'll see you there.